not. She did not scream that loud. <laughs> I'm bleeding from the ears here, Pacino. Let's calm down. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> she just looked at him covering her mouth with a blush. Sorry. Sorry. Dealing with food, not missiles here, Governor. Now drive around! (laughs) (laughs) She'd make little whimpering noises like, I want to get it. Starts to kind of skip over in her heels, like, God damn it. <laughs> Daryl, at least look at the bright side. You wow. can see her backside. That's the bright side. Well, I was going to say you got two Chesto berries out of the deal. Moon River. <laughs> and then it forgets that it's not an Amolga. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Tries to skip over to it. Just like, it no, was... no, 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 don't move. Don't move. <laughs> oh, bastard. What? Why is that a random Nidoran? What? Uh, that's not a random Nidoran. That is Daryl's Nidoran. Okay, why is it like right beside me? Help. Because I threw it that way. <clears throat> why? Threw out I'm going to a... teach this Pachirisu a lesson. No! Basically, she tries to. Basically, she's going over to it to protect it. Like, no. Oh my god, I'm moving two tokens. Stop. Eh. Okay, go over there. She's like, no, you do not. Stop it. Bad. You don't get out of the way, I'll double kick you. I refuse to get out of the way. Fine then. Double kick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nidoran, that hurts. Nidoran very cutely double kicks. <laughs> oh, does it not hurt her? <laughs> it's more along the line. How the fuck does Nidoran double kick? It uses its back legs. True. So a donkey kicks. Yes. Nice. Oh. So that hurts, yes. Eh, or no. Probably. I have no idea. She just kind of wince a little bit, <sighs> trying not to move too much. But of course, body naturally reacts and moves, tries to move away, still near the pet tree. So, you're like, no fucking stop. I mean, if Daryl actually wants to attack, he can roll a d20. Oh, no, don't. God damn it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, he hit. He hits. Yeah. I forget, with double kick, do you have to roll 2d20, or is it just the one? Oh, God. Have... <sighs> well. <laughs> okay, so what do I roll? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> you get double kicked. Fucking Christ. I'm going to say, uh, roll a d2, like, roll 2d2. Nah. Me or him? <laughs> oh my they both hit Scarlet. <sighs> She'd of course be kicked back a good little bit, like shit. You, That's you cool. donk, you donkey kick Scarlet in the gut. Scarlet goes flying. Yeehaw. Yeah, basically like over here. Edison. Stop moving, fucker. Okay, okay. Jesus. She's basically curled up around the patchery so just like grr, no, stop, bad. She will endure all she will endure all the pain in the world if need be. Damn it. And Daryl's just standing here wondering why she just doesn't let him attack the thing so she can throw a Pokeball at it while it's weakened. She she doesn't like hurting things if he hasn't guessed that yet. Well, uh, does Daryl want to roll uh, Nidoran's double kick damage? <laughs> oh, God. 
<clears throat> so, 34, right? Yep. Uh, oh, that's disgusting. Scarlet's at 20 HP. Bleeding, I'm just going to assume. Internally, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 Scarlet herself has two injuries on her. Yeah. She's in pain. Basically, is wrapped up around the th the little Pachirisu coughing, just like God, fuck. <laughs> tearing up. Yes, because pain. Just wrapped up around it. Very weak, though. <laughs> Just like, oh, God. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Douglas. Yes. High or low? Hi. Yay! <laughs> that's, a, that's the highest number I can think of. <laughs> <laughs> So the Pachirisu wriggles free from Scarlet's grasp and runs. And disappears in the bushes. Hmm. <laughs> Winds and kind of reaches, but just kind of lays there like... <laughs> yeah, little bastard. She tried to kind of drag herself up, kind of looking at him. You fucking asshole. Is that really fucking necessary? Just because it threw, you know, just a couple of nuts at you? It around gains five experience. <laughs> Was it really necessary for you to jump in front like that? Hurting other Pokemon with Pokemon isn't necessary. It's not an action that needs to be done. Are your parents hippies like you are? <laughs> Daryl's mind becomes a blue screen. <sighs> no. It's like doom. Dun, 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 dun. Does not compute. See, it's a long story that I don't really wish to go over. Not right now, at least. She staggers. She finally got to. Does Casey do anything throughout this entire thing? Uh, I would say no. If she sees an injured Pokemon, she'll capture it. Well, you see an injured Scarlet. Well, a very, a very injured Scarlet. Uh, can I fix the Scarlet? I don't know. I don't think I can fix the Scarlet. Uh, do you have a ball at it? Do you, have, do you have a potion? No. You don't have a potion? Well, I probably do. Uh, I'm fairly certain I do, but that was kind of for me. Uh, I will offer... Well, Scarlet is my contest partner, so I will run over and hold her hand gently and say, Keep your, don't go to sleep. If you feel cold, tell me as I stroke her hand. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Uh, and I will st I'll start looking after her and give crap nasty looks. Or rather, Zatu, who's got Leah, so he's actually good at giving nasty looks, will give crap uh, nasty looks. Because my nasty looks aren't very good at 1d6 plus 2. And I will help Scarlet in any way I can. She can, even, she can have a potion if she wants, I suppose. <clears throat> I will uh, walk over and hand her a super soda pop. She kind of glares at you for a minute. <sighs> Taking the soda. The soda heals. 50 HP. Sadly, Scarlet has two injuries. Yeah. So the max she can go to is 44. It'll take a couple nights rest in order for her to heal those injuries. She just seemed to sigh. Not as staggering. 
going ahead, going on ahead and sitting down so she can take off her shoes. Natu shakes his head and says, Natu. Don't get in my way next time. <sighs> I'll be right back, folks. What? Did Zach actually leave? What? Went to go take a shit. <laughs> Is he still recording? I don't know. I, I was about to say, she'd pretty much just look at you with a nice little grin. If you're still recording, we could all do the ugly booglies. <laughs> I really don't need to be listening to this music this late because oh my gosh my brain goes to automatically sad shit I'm just like anyways I'm just gonna type it That's edgy. Oh well, that's what she would say in this t- at the, at this point because she's she's thinking about her parents now. <laughs> she's actually kind of sad. No, she thinks of her parents. It's just kind of like really sad. Yeah. <laughs> at least she's smiling while she's saying it. I mean, come on now. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, what nope. the, the fuck did I miss? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing at all. Just those two flickers. <laughs> nah, but seriously, what did I miss? I have everything recorded. You might as well just come clean right now. Oh, well, I mean, I didn't even know you were recording still. I, that's why I just typed. <laughs> I hear echo. Yep. There is an echo. Uh, one sec. Hello. How's that? No my echo. Yeah. Well, yeah, sorry about that. My uh, father called and we were discussing my birthday party tomorrow. Oh, nice. You want to know what type of cake I want? Carrot. I got to think about two little girls. I'm thinking chocolate. Just for them. So, Douglas, what what actually happened while I was away taking a call? Nothing pretty much. Whatever she typed in, uh, to, to that, uh, we weren't sure if you were recording because you, you went away quickly, so we didn't say it after a minute or two. Oh, uh, okay. As boring as that sounds, we basically didn't do anything. <laughs> we were lost with it, she was like. Well, so, yeah, I got, I'm recording and I got a stream running. So, uh, oh, nice. You stopped. Oh, oh you guys stopped.
But yes, folks in the audience, I am turning 27 next Tuesday. Congratulations. Mazel tov. So. Okay, 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 okay. Hell, okay. might as well just put it out there now. This is basically what she, what Scarlet looked like when yeah. she was dressed, still dressed up. Hell, let me just put up the next one. Basically, Angel Garb, but red and black, because you know me. I like red and black. That's just me, though. No, uh, she embarrassed lots of people. I always used to paint my space marines red and black. Yeah, too bad. Too bad. Recording, no one can see it. Stream, people will see it. Uh, well. <sighs> yeah. I love the new OPS. It only records what I have in the yeah. So <clears throat> in your primary monitor. Well, no, I mean it. It only records the uh, the uh, Google Chrome pay, the Google Chrome uh, ah, like not the tab, but it's like the actual. You know. Mm-hmm. But so Casey. Uh, Scarlet and Daryl are pretty much flirting with each other in a very, very uh, angry, angry way. I don't really think she's flirting at this point. I think she's just no, actually like flirting. a little... This is Casey's okay. rendition. Uh, it's not okay. your rendition. This is Casey's rendition. You two were flirting. Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, he looks him up and down for, uh, for a moment and goes... Well, if they go to get married, one of them's ended up dead. Um, <laughs> I go, <laughs> as he decides, they need a, they, 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 they don't need a silver ribbon. They need a gold ribbon for the most abusive relationship ever. Um, and wanders off. That's one um, uh, S is um, okay. Yeah. Oh, S will be fine. She's she she has like a really hurt tummy. Pretty she much kicked in the liver. Yeah, it, it starts with uh, it starts with stomach punches. You know, once it moves on to arm breaking, <laughs> gotta get the police involved. Then. Restraining all this there for a reason, but you know. Uh, I, I know I know that it's your fault and that you wouldn't have done it if you hadn't made him angry. But uh, you know, come on now, let's be real. Well, she just doesn't like violence, especially between Pokemon. Uh, okay. uh, yeah. Uh, Casey will wander off and see what uh, Zarek is up to. Okay. You last saw him going towards Poke Attack. Even though he's in the tree. Okay. Got it. Cool. Going towards Poke Attack. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to state that Daryl feels really bad. <laughs> uh, also, <laughs> do you have uh, your Nidoran's experience in the roster token? Yes. Okay, I was about ready. Like, if you want, you can keep him out. If not, then just like Daryl takes Scarlet to the Pokemon Center, puts her in a Pokeball, and, and says, "Here, you need to heal this." <laughs> what? What? How do you put me in a Pokeball? Help! It's easy. I you, I say return, and the little red beam comes out. But 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 I what? I'm Wait. not a Pokemon. Uh, po humans are Pokemon, just in a very, very odd way. I am not a Pokemon! <laughs> that would also mean that Daryl owns you. Mm. <sighs> and I, and I don't think... I, don't... I hate every fiber of your being at the moment. Ah, uh, you can go ahead and do so. Damn it. As long as you respect my power. Uh, Casey, go ahead and roll Perception. Okay, I've actually got a Perception now, which is nice. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
So, uh, Scarlet knows the isolation that is inside of a Pokeball. Yes. Actually, it's pretty swank in here. There's a pool table. There's a vending machine. There's a heart shaped bed. There's a Daryl plushie. Shrugs and just goes ahead and lays on the bed, pushing the plush over like, no, stop. Bad. Bad Pokeball. <laughs> Can I stick needles this eyes? <laughs> Got a point. No, she's not going to do that either, because again, violence, unless she's provoked, she. Also, you're not in the goddamn Pokeball. Oh, okay. Uh, that Kate... would be pretty funny, though. <laughs> it would. It would. It would, it would definitely mean that Daryl owns you. Can we just do that? This is like this one time. <laughs> that depends. Are you willing? Are you willing to call crap master? Hmm. Hmm. I have to think about this. She's thinking on it. <laughs> uh, Casey? You, to stop now, sir. Yes. Um, you notice you notice Eric in the tree. Oh cool. I'll fly over. Um, Why? Yeah. Can't you fly crap? Is this something you've not learned how to do? I can teleport. I don't know about flying. Sorry? I can teleport. Don't know about flying. Oh, no. It is technically, um, Zata is using telekinesis. Well, if you can lift me up to eight meters off the ground, I think, or four meters. Well, it's just tall enough to get into a tree, so I'll fly over. Okay. Mm. I mean, you can fly, can't you? Can't everyone fly? It's not a thing. I gotta wait till Nemu becomes a, a Noivern before I can fly. Yeah, no, I, I, I mean, I, not not combat fly or anything, but you know, just just fly enough to get into a you tree. Float. Yes. But, yeah. See, uh, I'll, I'll float up to a branch next to him and say, "Hey." He waves. Uh, how, how are we doing? Uh, well, let's see here. It seems as if they are going through with Plan J. They are going to hunt us down. And if any, and if I'm reading this correctly, then then Stephanie of Stephanie over at Locker B currently wears a 36 triple C. Okay. Uh, who are they? I have no uh, idea. I'm just spying on Poketech. <laughs> You're just spying on Poketech? Yeah, uh, why not? Have fun. That seems fun. Are you enjoying that? Uh, why are they going to hunt this down? They're not. I'm just... Casey, what's your intuition? Uh, intuition? What's that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, does that mean it's 1d6? No, actually, it's uh, 2d6 plus 1. Okay. It's, it's, it's reasonable. Uh, I'm just wondering what you're talking about. Yeah, oh, he's, just, he's just having fun with you. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I'll ignore it and uh, carry on. So, so uh, what are you up to? Eh, mostly just hanging out in the tree. How did the uh, how the uh, contest go? Well, so so to be honest, could have been worse, could have been better. Got, got silver medal, which was you know, considering there were only three people, that's right in the middle. So literally, could have been worse, could have been better. Yeah, good job. Uh, how's uh, how's Ka not... how's Kawa taking it? Uh, I think apparently the world has ended because we didn't get first. But uh, I don't know why, but last I saw of her, she was trying to climb into a Pokeball. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I think he's trying to. I think he's trying to run away from uh, Daryl, who seems I don't know why, but he seems to just want to bully her all day. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds like Daryl. He is a bit of an asshole. Although Kawa needs to stand up for herself. Well, I told her she should get a restraining order because, to be honest, you, you know, uh, if, if someone hits you, that's taking it too far. Mm. Wait, he hit her? Uh, he double kicked her. He didn't just kick her once, he kicked her twice. <laughs> Jesus. And she went down like a sack of spuds. I'm not sure she's broken anything, but she ducks injured to me. Yeah. Well, if Daryl's smart, he took her to the Pokemon Center. To help her get into the... Uh, never mind. Um, uh, well, yeah. Uh, I'm sure the Nurse Jenny would be happy to take care of her. But really, uh, I think the smart thing to do is basically... Nurse oh, Jenny? Fuck out of... Sorry? Nurse Jenny? Nurse Joy? Uh, well, you know... Joy? Yes. They all, look, they all look the same to me. <laughs> <laughs> nurse Joy. <laughs> a little Nurse Joy comes up and tells her mom, Mama, I want to be a... Mama, Mama, I want to be an archaeologist. Her mom just looks down at her with a with a deadpan look, as if you ever had a choice. That's fucking scary, my dude. Stop. <laughs> Well, it's true. All nurse joys have, like, all joys have to be nurses. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, do you know, um, are there any lawyers around here? Uh. Are you going to go file a lawsuit for her? No, I'm just going to get a lawyer on retainer for when it happens. <laughs> <laughs> She's not going to do that. No, no, what? No, nothing to do with you. Let's see. There's Sanderson and Alakazam over on 4th Street. So, uh, are you just going to be hanging around in the tree all day? <laughs> he has been hanging around the tree all day. Eh, no, I'll probably, I'll probably see what I, like, I'll probably get on a roof at some point and uh, see if I can spot any Pokemon or, or battle someone. I don't know. Uh, okay. Well, I'd be happy to come along if you do anything. Uh, otherwise, I'll go and see the lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go see the lawyer, and you're gonna good luck getting him on retainer. Oh, fair enough. I'll wait till I've got a case. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Scarlet and Daryl, you guys are currently at the Pokemon Center. There are quite a few trainers here. They, they're they stopping by before... Like, there are some that are stopping by before they go take on the Elite Four. They look strong. Mm-hmm. Scar... Yeah, you just hear her chuckling a little bit. <laughs> uh... You feel Daryl's balls become brass as he wants to take on someone. <laughs> she just shrugged, patting his shoulder. You go ahead and have your fun, I guess. You see a guy with a Nido King. Bitch. I just thought of something. Yes. If everybody, if all the, if all of the um, functional NPCs are J, that means there's multiple Jet Studios in this world. He has a point. Okay, I have a plan for later. He has a point. It's a very, very off-putting point, but there's a point at the end of that sword. <laughs> it's a very scary sword. But yeah, Daryl, you you spot like a Nido King. You spot yourself like uh, 
Tyranitar. Got like an Agron. And then you notice a Clefairy. <laughs> but you know that Clefairy must be the most dangerous thing on the planet if it's standing with those three. Don't, 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 um, don't be dishing on Clefairies. I'll take on any of you. Let me just check. Nah. The funny thing for Daryl is the fact that the, uh, that those four Pokemon are being led by a midget, like a midget with a red afro. Uh huh. I'll tell you what, you give me a level 30, you give me a level 30 Clefairy, and I'll take on any of you guys. What does Clefairy get at level 30? Nothing. So why does it have to be a level 30 Clefairy? Uh, because at level 28 it gets stored power, and, there's, and it's got an egg move belly drum. And it's also got uh, an egg move wish. Ah. And it's also got uh, egg move. What else has it got? Well, you can only learn one egg move. Well, uh, it's probably got it's probably got wish somewhere else then, is it? Oh, it's got cosmic power at thirty four. Wow, fuck. So watch it. Douglas's uh, Cleffa is very dangerous in the future. In the far, far future. <laughs> in the far-flung future of the 41st millennium. Yes. The Enterprise slowly goes through space. And by slowly, I... Fable. <clears throat> fable. Cynical Fable acts as the chapter master for Douglas's uh, Crimson Fist chapter. Crimson <laughs> Fist, you said black and red, and I can't think of any other chapter that sports those colors. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, the Crimson Fist fits in so many other ways. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you know, I'm a horrible person if that's the first thing that pops in my head. You're not the only one. <laughs> For those of you... For those of you who are confused, I'm not going to explain it. Nor am I, because it's the most painful thing on the planet. Especially for me. Especially right now. Oh <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Daryl, besides, besides him, you also notice a rather tall, like, muscular woman training with her, training with her fighting types. She looks like she could break you in half. Kawashima basically is just like, yeah, never mind. Starts to walk out of the poke center. Like, nope, I'm just gonna not. Scarlet, you cur you currently have a bruised stomach. You have to go to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> You're feeling a pain worse than period cramps right now. <laughs> oh god, no, that's pregnancy pain. You stop. No, that's birthing pain. You stop. <laughs> no, nah, if you were pre if you were thing if you were pregnant, <laughs> Nidoran just gave you an abortion. Pretty much. No, you have the see. you have the exact you like you have the exact bit of falling down the stairs. You've been hit by the door. Ooh, that's just giving me six new ideas. <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to go ahead and take a little a short break here for right now in the recording. The stream will still be going. Anyway, we'll be right back after these commercial messages. Please get your popcorn, your soda, and enjoy yourselves. That's all. 